We're on Galt Place and we are celebrating the groundbreaking for the solar decathlon and powerhouse project and it's a really, really exciting day for us. We're right now in the final stages of building the solar decathlon house on the campus of Stevens Institute. We'll be shipping that down here to Washington DC for the competition on the mall. And the site here is where we'll also be building a second house with Habitat for Humanity. And then we'll be bringing that project from the mall over to this site. We're gonna have a two family project when we're done. This is a historic moment, uh, not only for this community in Washington, D.C., but from the design and technology standpoint, this will be the first passive house in Washington, D.C. Empower House is a solar decathlon team. We have students from Milano, Parsons, and Stevens all working together. We're very excited to be on the site. Uh, and to be with members of the community, it is a special moment. We are eager to affect social change. Working with engineering students at Stevens and students at Milano and students in other disciplines, speaking different languages of design and technology, and we're bringing that together to create something bigger and better. Rather than this being a futuristic house that only the the richest or most eccentric could afford, that we're, we're, we're bringing the energy efficiency done to real life. This is something that people can achieve now, and we can do it in an affordable way. Today we're here um, to celebrate commitment and community. Dean Wood is ideally situated in an environmentally sensitive location. The Dean Wood Solar House will be that opportunity to bring together uh, energy efficiency, environmental sustainability. Welcome to the Empower House groundbreaking ceremony. We're really excited for everyone to be here. After years of drawing and dreaming and thinking and planning and working very hard, today is finally here. The great thing about America is that we can bring all these energies together to, to, to create a tremendous outcome. And this is one of those cases where you have the Department of Energy actually producing affordable housing um, as a byproduct of an activity that they put together with some really bright students and some really committed community people. This is really a game changer, not just for the students, but also for this community. And we are very proud to have our hands in this. One, two, three. The alignment between Empower House and Habitat's mission is, is really of great importance and value. We believe that this movement here will be something that will be best practice to habitats all across the country. DHCD has provided the land. We're donating it to DC Habitat for Humanity to really enable this project to come to fruition. So we're excited. Milano's been connecting with the community in Deanwood. We've been attending community meetings. Um, the Deanwood Citizens Association is an active group in the community, and they've been supportive of our efforts here in Deanwood. They have a few great leaders who are really interested in um, keeping the neighborhood sustainable um, and self-sufficient too. We know that if we don't think about the way in which we engage with our neighbors and where food comes from, a big part of this project has a community garden just down the street to be growing food locally. Those are all aspects of sustainability. The mission of Groundwork is to, uh, br to bring about the sustained regeneration of vacant land and we are uh, working with the community to transform it into uh, what's being called the Learning Garden. This is a project that brings an opportunity for learning how to live in a house that is energy efficient in ways none of us has ever lived. A passive house is about 90% more energy efficient than your typical home. This two-family home will be a model for the Washington, D.C. area as well as other communities around the United States. The Deanwood Passive Solar House is not just impacting the community, it's also influencing the community as well. So individuals who um, are considering uh, selling their home, instead they can uh, look at some of the opportunities to put in environmentally sustainable components. This approach to sustainability is truly integrative. We work with people, we work with technology, we work with the whole structure and the systems and the complexity of our lives to build more sustainable communities.